So let's talk about Deadpool 2, The Return of the Merc with a Mouth. Bad Days Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Doyle, better known to y'all as the Big D, and this time around, I bring to you a review of the 2018 superhero sequel, Deadpool 2, released by Fox and directed by David Leitch, who recently helmed the movie Atomic Blonde the previous year, and... Last year's Fast and Furious spin-off, Hobbs and Shaw. The film brings back Ryan Reynolds as the title character, and also he co-wrote the screenplay for this. Also in the cast is Josh Brolin, Maria Bakarin, Julian Dennison, Zazie Beetz, T.J. Miller, Brianna Hildebrand, and Jack Kessie. This time, Deadpool forms the group called the X-Force to protect a young mutant from the time-traveling soldier known as Cable. Anyway, the film... did pretty well and became the highest grossing film for the X-Men series and the highest grossing R-rated film until Joker surpassed this the following year. Now the critics were impressed with this who praised the humor and the cast performances, the story and action sequences. However, some critics considered it better than the first film but others criticized its tone and script. Hey, it's no, it's no problem. It was still pretty good, though. Well, apparently, Tim Miller, who directed this film's predecessor, was to was to return, but he left the project due to creative differences with Mr. Reynolds. And of course, he went on to direct. Terminator Dark Fate, which came out last year. Anyway, well, let's get into our story, shall we? Alright, after fighting organized crime as the wise cracking mercenary Deadpool for two years, Wade Wilson fails to kill one of his targets on his anniversary with Vanessa's girlfriend. That night, after the pair decides to start a family together, the target tracks Wade down and inadvertently kills Vanessa. So Wade kills all of his men in revenge before pulling them both into the path of an oncoming truck. He blames himself for Vanessa's death and attempts to commit suicide six weeks later by blowing himself up. But Wade has a vision of Vanessa in the afterlife. But the pieces of his body remain alive and are put back together by Colossus. Wade is left with only a ski ball token, an anniversary gift as a final memento of Vanessa. Well, apparently, recovering at the X-Mansion, Wade reluctantly agrees to join the X-Men because he believes Vanessa would have wanted him to. He, along with Colossus and Negasonic Teenage Warhead, respond to a standoff between the authorities and the unstable young mutant Russell Collins, alias Firefist, at an orphanage, labeled a Mutant Reeducation Center. Deadpool realizes that Russell has been abused by the orphanage staff and kills one of the staff members. Colossus stops him from killing anyone else, and both Wayne and Russell are arrested. Yikes. Restrained with collars that suppress their powers, they are taken to the icebox and isolated prison for mewing criminals. Meanwhile, Cable, a cybernetic soldier from the future, travels back in time to kill Russell. Anyway. Cable breaks into the icebox and attacks Russell, 
Wade, whose collar breaks in the ensuing melee, attempts to defend Russell. But after Cable takes Vanessa's token, Wade forces himself and Cable out of prison. But not before Russell overhears Wade to deny that he cares for the young mutant in order to protect him. Near death again, Wade has another vision of Vanessa in which she convinces him to help Russell. So Deadpool organizes a team called the X-Force to break Russell out of a prison transfer convoy and defend him from Cable. The team launches in t its assault on the convoy by parachute, but unfortunately all the members die during the landing except for Deadpool and the lucky Domino, which that was probably one of the most funniest moments in this movie. This, I say, is pretty funny. Anyway, while they fight Cable, Russell frees fellow inmate Kane Marco, alias the Juggernaut, who looks much more bulkier than what he looked like in X-Men The Last Stand, only because this time it's a different person playing him, not Vinnie Jones. They, um, well, I'll explain about that in a little bit, okay? Anyway... The Juggernaut agrees to help Russell kill the abusive orphanage headmaster, and soon he destroys the convoy and rips Deadpool in half, allowing himself and Russell to escape. Oh dear. Okay, now to the last act and the ending. So if you've seen this movie, keep going with this review, but if you've not seen this review, you have exactly five seconds to stop this video. Stop the video, fast forward to the time below to avoid any spoilers if you've not seen the movie, okay? If you have seen it, good, keep going, here we go. Okay, you've been warned, if you went on without seeing this, while recovering, Cable offers to work with Deadpool and Domino to stop Russell from killing the Headmaster. In the future, Russell has become a serial killer as a result of the incident having burned Cable's family alive. Agreeing to give Deadpool a chance to talk Russell down, at the orphanage they are overpowered by the Juggernaut while Deadpool attacks the Headmaster until Colossus, who had at first refused to help Deadpool due to his murderous ways, arrives to the Strat Juggy. When Deadpool fails to take talk down Russell, Cable shoots at the young mutant, and Deadpool leaps in front of the bullet while wearing the icebox collar and dies, reuniting with Vanessa in the afterlife. Seeing this sacrifice, Russell does not kill the headmaster. This changes the future so that Cable's family now survives. Cable uses the last charge on his time traveling device which he needed for returning to his family to go back several minutes and strap Vanessa's token in front of Wade's heart. Now, when Deadpool takes the bullet for Russell, it is stopped by the token, and both survive, while Russell still has a change of heart. Afterward, the headmaster is run over by Deadpool's taxi driver friend, Doppinder. And that's the end. But there's a mid credit sequence. Negasonic Teenage Warhead and her girlfriend, Yukio, repair Cable's time traveling device for Deadpool. And he uses it to save the lives of Vanessa and X-Force Mirror appear and kills both Wolverine's version of Deadpool. Well, I mean, well, the Deadpool from X-Men Origins Wolverine, which that was absolutely crazy. And, that, and the actual actor of Ryan Reynolds while he is considering starring in Green Lantern, which I know a lot of people didn't like, which I'm completely understanding, okay? I don't really like it just for certain reasons, you know, okay? End of story. And that's that, everyone. So what did I think of Deadpool 2? I gotta say, it was just as much a big a blast as its predecessor was. I don't quite consider it to be better than the first, but it comes close, though. I think everything in it was pretty good. 
I mean, the, just like its predecessor, the humor was great. Uh, yeah, which I almost forgot to mention. Yeah, this had a lot of good humor, and the cast was great. The story and action sequences, absolutely superb. And its soundtrack was absolutely good, too. Uh, anyway, now after this was released uh, in, in May of 2018, about... Over a half a year later, a half a year later, we would actually get a special PG-13 rated version of the film, which I haven't seen. I wanted to, called Once Upon a Deadpool, but that was, but unlike those two, the, the original Deadpool 2 and its predecessor, it was meant to mixed reviews, in which Deadpool was telling the story of Deadpool 2 to a grub uh, version of Fred Savage in the style of The Princess Bride. Yeah. Now, while despite Fox got bought out by Disney, there was supposed to be a third one, but... However, the good news is it will there will still be a third one, but however it'll be developed by Marvel Studios, so let's hope for the best in getting this. Anyway, now of course we have Ryan Reynolds back as Deadpool. Playing cable is Josh Brolin, which of course this isn't the first time he was in a superhero flick. He was also in the extremely underrated and yet heavily dissed DC film Jonah Hex, where he played the title character. I'll review that someday. I forgot all about that one. <laughs> now, Maria Bakarin's back in this as Vanessa. We have Julian Dennison as Russell. Zazzy Beats as Domino, very good performance. T.J. Miller's back as Jack Weasel Hammer. Brandon Hillebrand returns as Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And then we have Jack Kessie as the character of Black Tom Cassidy. Anyway, let's see. We have lots of others. Leslie Uggams is back as Blind Al, Deadpool's elderly roommate, and Karen Sonny as Dopinder. I uh, forgot he was in that first one, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, this had a host of others, uh, and I gotta say, it was pretty darn cool. There's also There was also supposed to be an X-Force movie that I doubt we'll even get it, but maybe even with Fox being absorbed to Disney, and Marvel Studios working on um, a third Deadpool. Maybe they'll change their mind, or not. Oh well. But the question is, would I recommend Deadpool 2? Hell yeah! You need to see this. I absolutely enjoyed it. It was very fun. I need to revisit it. I need to revisit this, even though I've only watched, seen it one time because I went to the theater and saw it. But I'll revisit, re, <coughs> revisit this someday. Okay? But anyway, I really thought this was just, uh, t again, just as much a blast as its predecessor. So, enough said. Alright, now, what did you think of Deadpool 2? Please feel free to tell me in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to my channel as well and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you a ranking of all the X-Men films. That's right, I'm going to be ranking all 13 movies. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like this, you can see these other reviews. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of Logan, which I did last week. The upper right-hand corner is my review of Deadpool. And the bottom left-hand corner is, just for fun, my review of X-Men Origins Wolverine. And the bottom right hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe to my channel. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya. Enough said. Bye now.